My name is Ron Katz, uh, I'm the co-curator of the show and I'm the director of Symbiotica. This show is about life. It's about the fact that life is becoming more and more a raw material for us to engineer. And, and what we've done here was to get artists to spend time at Symbiotica as residents to report back from what it means to start to engage with life in such a manner. We're thrilled to present uh, an exhibition which is the culmination of 10 years of work of Symbiotica in the University of Western Australia in Perth here in Dublin. It'll be interesting to see what are the aspects of this exhibition that disturb people, what are the aspects that delight them, what are the aspects that make them ask new kinds of questions about what it is to be alive. blood from two different people and then I separate out their white blood cells from that blood, uh, stain them different colors and put them back together in a petri dish and then film under a microscope with using time-lapse microscopy um, how the cells interact with each other to see who's got the stronger immune system. When we made the decision about the type of works that we wanted to show, we wanted to show the breadth of engagement from the materials that makes the body like ammonia and bones through DNA and cells, through living organisms, all the way up to ecological systems. Essentially what we have is an audience of about 200 crickets, a, a host of crickets, and they're attending a, a, a lecture on the sex life of insects, which is pretty wild compared to human sex life, much more interesting. Part of the intention of the piece is to think about our tendency to anthropomorphize the world and see the, the kind of imagine that everything inhabits our space. The name of the show is Visceral, which means we are interested in kind of this gut feeling, in the way people respond when they are being confronted by something that is contradictory to what they perceive life to be. And this particular work that's been included is essentially a work in progress. And the idea behind the project was that I was going to isolate um, fetal calf cells from two calves um, and then later immortalise them using viral DNA, um, using plasmids, um, which would then allow those cells to replicate indefinitely, unlike um, normal cells which will only replicate about 50 times and then they stop. The work and the show is to a large extent dealing with this growing gap between our cultural understanding of life and what we know about life through science but even more importantly what we choose to do to life through technologies. We often uh, overlook the fact that information is created from physical bodies. We're so concerned about the digital information age right now that we forget that often um, biotechnology, for example, uses cells, human cell um, culture, you know, tissue culture, uh, blood, to give us information. This one here is uh, human tissue. It's explant skin that was donated to the project from a patient undergoing um, cosmetic surgery. It's been bound uh, into a book with archival paper and also pig skin at the back and the book's been bound with surgical stitches. It's an ambiguous show in the sense that the artists are not going to tell us what to think, but we hope that people won't find it controversial. We hope that people would find it as a starting point for discussion. Even before I went into science, I was rather torn between the idea of should I do art or should I do science? And it seemed unfortunate you had to make a choice then. There wasn't a comfortable marriage. They tend to be very polarized and very distant from each other. And so I chose science, of which I have no regrets, but I always had a very strong yearning to bring back these two disciplines so they could interact. I believe that research is really based upon creativity, and therefore one's much poorer for not having that interaction with highly creative minds. Exhibiting in this kind of environment is a really interesting place because currently a lot of the things that are changing the world are about things that do with emerging technology and science. And what we really need to do is bring the humanities and the discourse of the arts into this debate. I thought it was really, really interesting. It's a nice uh, marriage between the aesthetic kind of experience of the exhibitions and then also the factual kind of learning stuff as well. So. The, the name of the exhibition, like uh, Visceral, it came from insight. So I think it's like a nice idea. And I'm not quite sure whether every single one of these projects is a collaboration between an artist and a scientist, but it seems quite professional on both levels. Salon Barrage, not only that it's an art piece, 
it's a unique example of um, a, a, a tight collaboration or a unique collaboration between art and science. While we're performing a cultural experiment here in, sp in the space, the scientists are very interested to look at the data that is generated by this project. So placing an artwork in a science gallery brings those two worlds together in a very um, interesting way. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's really interesting. I mean, it's a, it's a much more complex exhibition to understand than a lot of previous exhibitions that they have here, but it's, it's fantastic. People's reactions are very, very um, supportive and hopefully provocative as well, because that's the whole point of the show. I hope it will generate lots of discussions, and um, I would like to use this opportunity to thank the Science Gallery staff very much, and the Symbiotica staff, and most of all the artists who did a very, very good job and worked really hard, and all the life that was involved in this exhibition. Thank you very much.